Hi and welcome back to the course on network security and penetration testing. As you know that recently we have covered chapter number two which is reconnaissance and we understood that how companies or the hackers try to get some information about your website, your organization and different things related to your business. Now as part of the internet footprinting we'll be covering the software called uh, Sam Spade and it's available for free. I'll leave the uh, link to download in the description. Now we'll be checking a website which is a non-HTTPS website uh, which is go.com and uh, just to understand the software we have different tools available like ping, DNS, who is, IP block, ding, tracer, finger and the uh, blacklisting of the website and uh, abuse different email addresses etc which are related to a domain. So if we want to get some information about a domain name uh, we'll enter the domain name over here we'll keep the settings as it is and we'll press go. Now if you will click on the button over here it would increase the font so that it's clear. As you can see the domain name is go.com the registry domain ID is 240937, which is domain.com uh, VRSN. Um, this is giving the registrar URL domain, like from where they have registered the domain. Last time it was updated was 25th of November 2021, and even the date and time is appearing. Creation of the domain was in 1998, 9th of January 1998 and the domain is going to expire on this day. Now it's giving some information about the registrar, corporation or corporate domains. Um, the registrar is INID299. If you are receiving any spam from this specific you, domain name, you can send an email to domain abuse and they will look after it. Now here they are giving the name servers where they are hosting their website and as you can know that it's hosted at six different servers. So that's the basic information about a domain. Now the second thing that we can see is if you want to get the ping results of this website, um, we'll click on ping and it's giving us the ping response from the domain. Now we entered go.com and it's giving us the uh, actual IP address of that domain and this is giving us the response time of the uh, website if we are trying to trace it. If we'll go to the uh, DNS record, uh, to the normal DNS of it, it's again telling us the uh, IP address which we have seen it here in this address which is 174.60.174 so it helps us in finding the IP address behind a domain name. Whenever we open any of the tools over here they are listed up here so if you want to toggle you'll simply click on them and you can change the pages. Next option that we have is who is we have already checked it in the first tab it's giving us the information about the domain and if we want to do the tracer like different hops and uh, want to get the information about it that if it's entering um, uh, releasing from our domain and then entering uh, and then leaving it for the internet till it would reach the website so you'll get all related information up here. Now if we want to check the finger, it is giving us the details related to that. Now not all information will be available over here. There would be certain things which would be blocked by the website so you won't be able to get that information. Now if we we'll click on web, it helps us in opening the website in different user agents where we can check that how the website performs in different browsers and their settings. Now most of the hackers and the persons who are trying to uh, get some information about the internet footprinting, they use these tools and then they try to load the website in that, um, in that interface so that they can look for the weaknesses of a website. As you can see it has loaded the website in Mozilla version 5, Windows 98 and it's all showing the source code of the website. 
Now, if you want to check the uh, blacklisting of the website, if it is uh, blacklisted on any of the websites for sending spam, we can get the information from here. If you are constantly receiving a spam from this domain, it would find the email addresses to where you can report if you are constantly receiving spam from this domain. As you can see, it has listed the email addresses where you can report abuse at disney.com because the domain go.com is property of Disney and you can even report it at spam at abuse.tukhouse.com because that's where it's hosted at the moment. Now that's as far as these options are concerned. Now we'll see that what can we do if we'll click on tools, there are different options and uh, an interesting feature in this software is crawl a website. Now if we want to search certain email addresses on a website or any links to other servers or link to this server or images on the server, we can find all those details by clicking on it. And if we'll press OK, it would list all the details related to the website and uh, the links, uh, uh, external links on this website to other websites. So even if there were any email addresses, as you can see over here, it's appearing, you can check it, but it's, uh, I think, uh, considering at the rate sign as the email address, uh, instead it's a PNG file. But there are websites where if any of the email addresses are listed on the website, you can easily find it from here. The other option in this one is uh, the persons who are after an internet footprinting is sometimes they use the option for crawling a website and then they'll try to mirror the entire website to a location that would include the header information and inline images. As you can see, if I'll try to mirror the website on a location on my computer and press OK, it would download the files of the website and it would save it on my computer. Now, uh, the guys who are after internet footprinting, what they are doing is usually they are downloading the website and then at their spare time, they'll go and they'll check for the information which is appearing on the website. Now we would try to search another option which is fast trace route appearing. Now it would trace route all the hops in between uh, from your IP address till the website and it would try to show you a complete map of the hops that it's having in order to reach the domain. So that's pretty much about the software. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, test some of the other uh, options which are appearing in this one, but it really helps us in finding some basic information about a domain name and stuff related to the internet footprinting. That's it for today. Thank you very much.